Hello everyone, welcome to the class on NIPER 2020 paper analysis. In this video, I am going to explain about pharmacology logic based questions and how you need to answer the answer explanation. This is my channel, you just type in my name, G Sairajish in YouTube, you will get the channel. You have 124 pharma related videos and I have 1950 subscribers. If you like the video content, do subscribe. Let's get into the class. Now, a diabetic patient developed cellulitis due to Staphylococcus aureus microorganism which is methicillin resistant. All the following antibiotics will be appropriate except, these are known as except kind of questions. That means out of four, three are correct but only one is wrong and you need to figure out what is that one is. I call these kind of questions as logic based questions. You need to think, read the question properly. Take your time to read it. If you miss this word except, you will lose a mark. Now let us understand the uh, question. Cellulite is a kind of skin infection caused by Staphylococcus aureus and it is methicillin resistant. Now see this Staphylococcus aureus is a gram positive bacteria which will cause skin and soft tissue infections. Usually the infection is not very harmful but sometimes it may cause pneumonia and blood borne infections. To treat that methicillin antibiotic is developed. Methicillin is beta lactamase resistant antibiotic but overuse of methicillin has resulted in a new variant of Staphylococcus aureus. It is known as methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. This is known as MRSA. Now you need to find See, the question asks all the following antibiotics are appropriate. So out of four, three can be used to treat it, but only one cannot be used and you need to find out which one is that one is. Now vancomycin is very popular one. It is widely used to treat MRSA. Tycoplanin is, has got very similar spectrum like vancomycin. It is also used to treat MRSA. Linozolid is also very effective antimicrobial agent. It is used to treat MRSA as well as vancomycin resistant enterococci can also be treated by lenizolid. So which one is not used to treat MRSA? It is imipenem. So the answer is B. You need to know various drugs which are effective against MRSA. I have a list. Drugs effective against methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. See glycopeptide antibiotics, vancomycin, tycoplanin, telavalsin, dalbivalsin. All of them are very much effective. Lipopeptide antibiotic, daptomycin, lincosamide, clindamycin, cephalosporins, look at this, only fifth generation are effective. And oxazolidinone, linozolid, streptogramin, quinpristin, dalfopristin is also effective. Others are there. But remember, take a screenshot of this list. But again, see this linozolid and quinipristin, dalfopristin are effective against vancomycin resistant enterococci also. They are very effective. They are effective against MRSA as well as PRE. So now understand why I call it as logic because you need to know this word except and you need to know what all the drugs are effective against MRSA. It is not a straight away question. You need to know all the drugs which are effective against MRSA then you can eliminate this one. Moving to the next question. Now this is also interesting one. Methotrexate toxicity can be prevented by let us understand what is the action of this methotrexate is. Methotrexate inhibits folate activation. Folates, we take it through the diet and they are activated with the help of enzyme dihydrofolate reductase and it results in the formation of tetrahydrofolate. This tetrahydrofolate is converted to n 5 n 10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. This is what gives all the DNA nitrogen bases, adenine, guanine, thymidine, all of them form, even serine too. Now, the job of methotrexate is it will inhibit dihydrofolate reductase enzymes. When the enzymes are inhibited, tetrahydrofolate is not formed and you don't see all these DNA nitrogen bases. If these are not formed, cell multiplication is not possible. Why DNA formation is not possible and cell multiplication is not possible? So this is widely used to treat cancer, anti-neoplastic drug. But excessive use of methotrexate will cause severe bone marrow suppression. Myeloid suppression will occur because in bone marrow you have a lot of uh, uh, cells multiplying. And if you continuously use methotrexate, these healthy cells will also get inhibited and cell multiplication is not possible. To avoid this, this is what is the toxicity of methotrexate, bone marrow, myeloid suppression. 
to avoid this leucovorin is given what is leucovorin leucovorin when it is given it is immediately converted to n5 n10 methylene tetrahydrofolate which will give all these required nitrogen bases so it is avoiding this step it it will not use dihydrofolate reductase enzyme for its activation it, it just directly converted to this one so even though you use methotrexate leucovorin can act effectively that is what is known as leucovorin rescue so the answer is this one but the important thing is you need to know the concept let us see the other one see mesna every every alphabet stands for a particular thing m stands for mercapto e stands for ethyl s stands for sulfonyl na stands for sodium so mercapto ethyl sulfonyl sodium is what is mesna is this is used to treat a condition called as cystitis cystitis is caused by cyclophosphamide again cyclophosphamide is an anti neoplastic drug the problem with cyclophosphamide is it will be releasing toxic metabolites and the toxic metabolites will cause cystitis <coughs> now the toxic metabolites are neutralized by mesna so this is used to treat cystitis now oncovorin is vincristin vincristin is again plant related product which is used to treat cancer sodium thiosulfate is used to treat cyanide poisoning so this is about this one so for this the answer is leucovorin moving to the next one now cell mediated immunity is provided by all of the following except again look at this except questions you need to pick only one thing which is not related to this one now when you see acquired immunity we have two types are there cell mediated immunity second one is humoral immunity humorous or humoral means body fluids the reason why it is called as humoral is antibodies are present in plasma body fluids so antibody related one is known as humoral that is b lymphocytes what is the question except cell mediated immunity so they are talking about humoral immunity and that is answer is b lymphocytes all of these remaining all of these are involved in cell mediated immunity let us have a look about this one see macrophages natural killer cells t lymphocytes how it happens is see macrophage will identify an infected cell they will engulf it they engulf and break down the infected cell and express proteins on its surface it is known as antigen presenting cell macrophages are antigen presenting cells they are presenting antigens on their surface which are recognized by t cells t cell activation occurs and they generate killer t cells and nk cells are also activated natural killer cells their job is to kill this infected cell so the infected cell will die this is how cell mediated immune response will work moving to the next one now bicuculin acts as now sir options are antagonist of gaba a gaba a is an ion channel receptor especially chloride channel one gaba b is g protein coupled receptor now nicotinic receptors are also ion channel nmda is glutamate receptor now bicuculin will be acting on gaba a receptor now how it is acting it is acting as antagonist this is also good concept let us understand this one so this is a gaba a receptor which is a chloride channel when gaba binds it opens chloride channel it results in hyperpolarization because of this <coughs> hyperpolarization now it has got another site known as benzodiazepine site when benzodiazepine site binds benzodiazepines are when, when benzodiazepines bind here the binding enhances the binding ability of gaba to its receptor site antagonist they block benzodiazepines now benzodiazepine inverse agonist are nothing but bicuculin now it is showing opposite actions of benzodiazepine that means if benzodiazepine binding enhances chloride release bicuculin blocks the chloride release so technically it is acting as antagonist that is what it is given antagonist of gaba a receptor so the answer is a moving to the next one now penicillin degradation is prevented at what ph in fact there is a study on this see the effect of ph on degradation of penicillin hmm, the stability analysis shows penicillin g is more stable in the ph ranges of 5 to 8 but maximum stability of penicillin is a is at ph 6 so the answer is c see 8 and more than 8 the molecule will breaks down more acidic one it breaks beta lactam ring so the answer is 6 now 
The reduced dose requirement of isoniazid is observed in patients who are. Now, isoniazid is an anti-tubercular drug. Now, isoniazid is a prodrug. It is activated and, and acts on mycobacterium. It undergoes metabolism by acetylation. So, what happens is human beings can be classified as fast acetylators and slow acetylators. What happens in fast acetylators? It will immediately acetylate isoniazid and isoniazid dose goes down. In case of slow acetylators, isoniazid dose will remain as such because the metabolism is very slow. So, what is required? Dose is reduced dose requirement. You don't need to give the actual dose because the duration of action T half will be more because they are slow acetylator. So, the answer is this one. Understand this question. See, dose, dose adjustment is required for both the cases, but the, here it is asked as reduced dose requirement. That's why I usually say pay attention. First, read the question properly. So, the answer is slow acetylator. Now, glucose 6-phosphate deficient it will result in hemolysis with when, they, when sulfur drugs are used along with this. It's not related to this one. So, the option here is B. Moving to the next one. Now, neutropenia is adverse effects of the following except. So, see, I call these things as cluster adverse effects. That means different kinds of groups will cause similar kind of adverse effect and that adverse effect is neutropenia. Now, see, uh, you need to make a list of all these adverse effects and groups of drugs which are causing these adverse effects. Now, see, rituximab, gansiclover, one is anti-cancer one, one is antiviral one. Both the drugs will usually affect cell multiplication, so they will cause neutropenia. Now, anti-thyroid drugs will also cause neutropenia. Whereas, antipsychotic drugs like clozapine has also caused neutropenia. So, the answer here is phenytoin and clarithromycin. See, again, the question is except question. All of them will cause neutropenia except this one. I have a list of these things. See, drug-induced neutropenia is caused by, see, remember as this, antithyroid drugs, this will cause. Antibiotics, some of them will cause neutropenia. Again, ticlopidine is very notorious for causing neutropenia. Anticonvulsants, not all of them. Phenytoin will not cause it. Carbamazepine, valproic acid will cause it. Antipsychotics will also cause neutropenia. Antiarrhythmic and sulfa drugs. So, take a screenshot of these drugs. Clustered, all the drugs will show similar kind of adverse effect. Moving to the next one. Now, again, same thing. Phototoxicity is shown by all except, again, clustered adverse effect. So, out of this four, Three of them will show phototoxicity except one. See, tetracyclines will cause phototoxicity, right? Chlorpromazine, CPZ also cause phototoxicity. Thiazide quinolones, fluoroquinolones are very notorious for causing phototoxicity. Only rosiglitazone will not cause phototoxicity. Again, I made a list. See, drug class and example, all of these drugs will cause phototoxicity. Antibiotics, NSAIDs, retinoids, statins, neuroleptics, antifungals, others, all of them has got the problem of causing phototoxicity. Again, take a screenshot, write it somewhere so that you will remember this thing. Moving to the next one. Now, hand and foot syndrome is not caused by, again, say, except kind of question. That means three of them will cause it, one will not cause it. Let us see what is this hand and foot syndrome. Now, this is shown by some of the chemotherapeutic agents like anti-cancer drugs. When they are given, when they are moving through the blood vessel, if by chance the drug leaks out of the blood vessel, they will cause irritation and it develops hand and foot syndrome. Usually it happens to hand and foot wherein redness will be there. Anti-cancer drugs like 5-fluorouracil, capacitabine, doxorubicin, all the three will cause this syndrome. What will not cause this? Mitomycin. Let us see about them. See, the redness of hands and legs, this is how it appears. So, this is what is hand and foot syndrome. It especially occurs to hand and foot. Hence, it is known as hand and foot syndrome. It is caused by 5-fluorouracil, capacitabine, doxorubicin. So, which will not cause? Mitomycin. Again, moving to the next one. See, which of the following medication is not used in treatment of ADHD? Again, see, not. Till now, we have seen adverse effects. Now, drug of choices. ADHD is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Most of the time, young boys will have this. Methylphenidate, dexamphetamine, imipramine, all the three are used. Clonazepam is a benzodiazepine which is not used to treat ADHD. So, the answer is D. Moving to the next one. Now, which is not again, not used to treatment of asthma. Again, which is not drug of choice to treat asthma. Asthma can be treated by bodisonide 
bromelain sodium zephyr lucas which you cannot use isonia acid isonia acid is used to treat tuberculosis it is a very narrow spectrum drug which I, which is effective only against tuberculosis thank you for watching this uh, video if you like the video content do subscribe